Aloha, I'm Sam Monteleone, mamstrong808.com, and I recently wrote an article about tocotrienols. Do you know what tocotrienols are? Tocotrienols are the other half of vitamin E that up until recently haven't really been studied very well. There are eight parts to vitamin E, or they're called stereoisomers. The half of them are tocopherols and then half of them are tocotrienols. And up until recently, only the tocopherols have been studied. In fact, vitamin E originally was labeled vitamin E only for alpha tocopherol. So if you had alpha tocopherol vitamin, it would be called vitamin E. These days, mixed tocopherols are called vitamin E, but that's not all there is. Originally, scientists thought that only alpha tocopherols were absorbed by the liver. So this is why they only focused their research on this. But recently, tocotrienols have come to light as a major component in fighting disease. They fight the top five major illnesses, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, obesity, Alzheimer's, and cancer. So there are four parts to tocotrienols. They're labeled alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. And each one of those by itself has been shown to fight different diseases. Alpha tocotrienols have been found to be neuroprotective. In contrast, alpha tocopherols, the other part of vitamin E, are not found to be neuroprotective. What does neuroprotective mean? Part of being neuroprotective means that they protect the neurons in your brain. So alpha tocotrienols, not alpha tocopherols, protect you against Alzheimer's. In fact, many studies have shown an inverse relationship with taking alpha tocotrienols and Alzheimer's. Now, gamma tocotrienols have been found to modulate cardiovascular disease and cholesterol. They do this many different ways, but one of them is by inhibiting the HMG enzyme, which is also what statin drugs do. Also in relation to cardiovascular disease, gamma tocotrienols have been found to decrease arterial stiffness, so the stiffness of your arteries. You want them to be bendable. When scientists studied mixed tocotrienols in relation to arterial stiffness, they didn't have the same results, so it was only the gamma tocotrienols that worked for this. In relation to cancer, it was the delta tocotrienols that shined. In delta tocotrienol and cancer studies, there are many different types of cancers researched and several different pathways in which uh, the delta tocotrienols either suppressed the tumor environment so that they couldn't grow or they attacked cancer cells. Now mixed tocotrienols were also found to be beneficial towards bone loss as we age, particularly in males. Uh, also, uh, they could reverse non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Okay, so how can we get tocotrienols? Well, it might be something newly discovered. However, the Mayan civilization discovered this centuries ago. The Mayans were known to add supplements to their food to make sure that they were living the healthiest life they could. And one of their supplements was a seed called the annatto seed from the achiote bush. They added a natto to their rich chocolate drink made from a cocoa bean paste. Uh, remember, vitamin E is fat soluble, so you have to have fat to uptake it. So a natto is a spice that is a deep orangish red color. Here's what it looks like. So a natto is comprised of mostly delta tocotrienols and gamma tocotrienols with a little bit of alpha tocotrienols, but not very much about annatto also is that there are no tocopherols, which other things like palm oil do have tocotrienols, but they also contain tocopherols. It's really easy to add a pinch of annatto into your cooking every day. You can uh, take a pinch and put it on your chicken or your steak. Sometimes I throw a pinch in my morning coffee as long as I have a fat to help absorb it, like maybe butter or heavy cream occasionally. Thank you for joining me today and listening to me talk about the forgotten half of vitamin E, tocotrienols. I have a passion for helping others live their healthiest and happiest life. Aloha from Maui. Thank you for visiting with me today and be sure to ask me any questions that you have. Aloha.